In this video, I'm going to cover the site footer. The footer is the bottommost section of your web page and normally contains copyright information. To adjust the footer, we're going to click on the Customize option once you're logged in. And then you'll see a navigation option for footer. Go ahead and click it. In this video, I'm not going to talk about footer widgets, but let's go ahead and adjust the footer layout. Right now, the layout is a single column. If I want to, I can also adjust it to none or two columns. Two columns gives you another available spot on the right hand bottom side for content. You'll see that by default, column one has the copyright logo, the year, the business name, which is coming from your website title, and it also has powered by Beaver Builder. If I start typing into this box, it will replace all of that. If I don't want text in column one, but instead I want social icons or even a menu, I can adjust it by using the drop down. I'll show you where to adjust the social icons next. I also have the same available options for column two. Once you're done, go ahead and click the back button. I will adjust the styling of the footer. Just like the header, I can adjust background color, decide whether or not I want a gradient, text color, color of any links, and of course, the hover color of those links. Once you're done with your styling options, go ahead and click Save and Publish to save your changes. Now let's go ahead and adjust my social icons so they'll show up on the left. So click the back button, and as you scroll down, you'll see an option for settings. Go ahead and click that. In here, you can adjust your social links, site identity, which is your site title, tagline, as well as the icon, which shows up on any apps and also shows up at the top of your screen as a tab icon in the browser. You can also adjust your static front page, which I currently have set to coming soon, but you can adjust it to any page that you want. So let's go ahead and adjust the social links by clicking social links, and then I'm going to add my Facebook link. And once it's added, you'll see that Facebook is now an option in the bottom left of the screen. If I want my links to be the branded color for the social platform, I can click branded. Otherwise, it's going to default to the link color that you have set. Again, you can always take a look at your changes on other device sizes and see if you're happy with it. Once you are, simply click Save and Publish, and then close out of the Customize tray by clicking the X.